Okay, so this uh, quick response is directed at uh, Prob Hat M. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. And uh, basically, what I'm talking about uh, is something I started working on last night. Here's the extensions. And basically, I'm calling it Model Maker for CTA 2 right now. And it looks something like this. And it's right now, it's very limited, but you'll get an idea of how it works. So notice how I do not have the template open okay I'm not working with the template I'm just gonna be working with this little panel here so an artist can easily come in here and go okay well here's my face and I'm gonna switch to that and um, come on flash a little slow and uh, there's my face okay I'm going to select it. I don't even have to bother naming it. I'm just going to symbol 5, whatever. So I, I take my little panel here, and I would switch based on the angle that I'm working on, right? So right now I'm working on 0, so I would switch here. Obviously, these are not functional right now, but they will be later on. And uh, all I have to do, okay, I'm working on the face. Click the face, and notice that, uh, maybe I probably should have had that open, but notice that the name itself has already been applied to that. Okay, so I don't have to re reference any manuals or like the, um, I don't have to reference the uh, the Excel sheet or anything like that. I don't have to quit, keep uh, flipping back and forth between that uh, FLA file constantly just so I can make sure I have the right spelling and the right, uh, you know, formatting or whatever they want. So here's another one. I'm just going to name it like that. All right, I'm going to duplicate that one. I'm going to create a nose. I'm going to paint that nose. Let's see here, paint behind. So I'm just going to do that number there. Okay, turn that into a symbol. I'm not even worried about naming that symbol properly, you know? Okay, so that's my so that's my right eye and that's my left eye. So basically I click there and I'm gonna put that properties panel there so you can see what happens. I click that eye, then I click on that one, boom, right eye zero. I click that one, boom, left eye zero. I click the nose, then I touch the nose, boom. Okay. So Here's the neck. All right. All right. So now I have a neck. All right. Now I'm going to. I don't know why I'm bothering with all that stuff. Um, <laughs> it sucks because my computer is running really slow and I tend to work a lot faster than this. So, um, all right, so here is my upper body or my torso. Okay, convert that into a symbol. Okay, I'll move it to the back. Click the torso, boom, upper torso. Okay, and lower torso. Well, I haven't. I don't have anything selected. I have to convert it into a symbol first. But maybe that's another feature I can add. So if it's not already a symbol, have it automatically convert itself into a symbol first um, before uh, giving it the name. Okay, I'm just going to speed things up real quick. So you can kind of get the idea of how much time something like this will save. F8 to convert symbol. F8. F8. And maybe 
I can have it actually automatically rename the symbol itself in case for some reason CTA requires the symbol to have a unique name. Uh, maybe we can work that out as well. So there I have my legs. I'm going to place them there. Okay, select that. Click there, select that, click there, select that, click there, select that, click that, select there, click that, that one, and there. And uh, everything is properly named. I don't have to reference anything. And uh, I'm almost done. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to slow down here. So that's the upper arm. I'm going to click that one. Okay, so that's my other arm there. Click there, my forearm. That's the hand. Boom. Actually, that won't work. I have to convert it into a symbol first. There we go. So as you work, you would be creating your symbols, and uh, whenever you're ready to apply the names, you can apply the names, and it's just a quick and easy operation. So that's the arm, right arm, right uh, forearm, the hand, assemble it. All right. So there it is, a full, well, almost. Just get the mouth. Okay. So I have my symbol there. I click on that mouth. And I mean, just for the sake of arguments, I'm going through all the motions here. That's my front hair. That's uh, let's call that the back hair. Make sure it's selected. Click on the back hair. See, back hair zero. And uh, do we want ears? Sure, we'll put ears. Let's not waste too much time. F8. Now we have an ear. Control D to duplicate it. Go to the other side. Modify, transform, horizontal. Okay. We'll put the ears right there. Select both of them. Send them to the back. So I'll select that ear and then click on that ear. See, left ear zero. Let's click that ear, click that one. And uh, hell, let's even add some eyebrows. And this will probably have been the fastest model ever created. <laughs> So we'll put one eyebrow there, click that, select that, click there, and hopefully sometime soon they'll bring in the rabbit ears and the tail and we'll be able to work with that as well. But there it is, a complete character set for the zero position.
all I need is to apply some bones and I already have some buttons here that are ready to go for that they're not functional yet but when I click something like this then the bones will appear or a series of um, the pivot points because uh, basically the pivot points control where the bones are going to go so I'm um, um, based on the type of character you're doing I'll have different settings for the uh, the bone structure and that should help you get uh, your characters done really fast you know once you're done you can always select everything and uh, let's see here distributes layers and look at that every layer properly named based on the object that is on that layer okay so hopefully that piques your interest if you have any feature requests or ideas you know just let me know I'll see what I can do about throwing them in there